Hello, welcome to a new installment of Making Cinderella's Dress, and today we're going to work on the skirt. So this shouldn't be too complicated, we're going to be doing the trapezoid skirt pattern that I did in the recreating my uh, old skirt tutorial, and then I'm just going to add the same trim and decorations and attach the main bodice to the skirt. After that we'll be able to move on to the final part, which is making it all transform. So. Stay tuned for that, and today just enjoy watching, seeing how I make the skirt. Both called it from the beginning. I called it. I knew that the right to be nice. Alrighty, so actually today you'll actually see the um the whole maid outfit together. So that includes the transforming pocket part. So I did have to run to a store and get more trim. So I bought three more yards of this. I probably won't need all three, but I wanted to make sure I had a lot. And I bought elastic. So in order to have the ball gown in that poof, you can either have it under the maid skirt or over. I'm having it over just because I like the look. And so there's two ways you have to do that. Because it has to be big enough to hold the skirt, but small enough that when it's like hiding under the ball gown, it's not peeking through. And you need a way for when you let go of the bodice that it's not peeking through the ball gown. So you can either do that with elastic or kind of having some ties, which I, elastic technically would be easier, but I'm going to probably do both because I I like to do too much. So the back will have um, elastic because with the elastic as it weighs it down, it'll hold it up enough and the front will have ties so that will help kind of distribute the fluffiness around. So that's what I'm going to do. That shouldn't take too much time for today and then we'll have a final reveal maybe by next week so that's what we got to work on all right so let's show you what i've done so far so with the skirt it's gonna i sewed that i'm gonna call this like the gathered layer from now on so i gathered the gather layer all around the waistband at the and it's at the side pocket leaving a little bit of extra on the side so when it's all pulled up you can tuck it in. So and on the back pieces because the front is going to be pulled together with trim kind of holding it up and giving it a bustle effect. So in the back I didn't want to do that just because it's a lot of work. I want to make this as easy as possible to put on by myself. So the back I put a couple bits of elastic just going straight down. So you have some elastic here. And it's only three and it goes across the whole butt part so that's all said and done now this right here because now that i'm in my official space i vacuum sealed the cinderella dress so i'm gonna have to take it out to um kind of do some measurements with the maid ball gown but let's uh open it up Okay, so for some measurements, what we're going to do, because now the maid skirt's under here, I'm going to roll up the ball gown, which gives you like this amount of thickness, and then I'm going to pick up where I'm going to have the top of the gathering layer and down. I'm going to do this all the way around first. So I'm doing this because 
I'm not, once I add like the ties and such, which are gonna kind of add structure to the front, I wanna make sure that I have like a solid idea of exactly where I want it to be. So, not going real slow with it. It's gonna take a second to start it, just because it is a lot of layers. So this is definitely probably going to be a two-person costume, but we'll see where we go. I don't feel how I used to anymore, anymore. I don't hear from you like I used to anymore, anymore. Let's run it back and kick it like we used to. not it yet now in concept this is how it should work is once you pull this off there's these ties that are holding this up along with the elastic and once you pull this off all this would fall down ball gown and this would be hidden underneath because this is shorter than the skirt but as you can see we have a lot more tool and though it rolls up to be pretty neat, like, I'll show you the back. If the back is pretty neat, you're gonna need either more length to um, have it hang a little bit longer and so the poofiness will be more distributed, or less poof. And I'm, I really don't want to have to sacrifice poof. So, this is it. For this week because now i gotta sit and back on the drawing board luckily we're at concept now because you know technically this <laughs> it would transform if i sewed the photo touches together it, that is the main objective so what to do now is figure out how i can make it less poofy what i could do is replace it from being on top and have it under in the bottom. So when you roll it up, it's going to fall, have it under and instead your skirt under is gonna be over. And I'll have like a really huge uh, petticoat for um, a maid costume, which is not, not common. Of course, working women during Cinderella's time all wore petticoats. I will have to look at how big, I have to remind myself, but it's not, not possible. So this is where I'm going to stop for the week, but we technically have something, look at that, I almost have a transformation happen. So that's it for this week, leave comments and like and subscribe, <laughs> that felt awkward saying, and I'll come back with you next week with um, hopefully a solution. Until then, see you guys later.